After multiple reports of car break ins in two local neighborhoods, victims who say they're confident they lock their vehicles are concerned that thieves have gone high tech. A warning for you if you thought your car uses a key fob to unlock and lock it, it might not be safe. NBC Force Tyler Beckham spoke with auto theft detectives and victims. He's joining us now from Victorian Village with some tips so you can keep your car secure, Tyler. Calling mid last week, many people in this area began noticing their cars had been broken into even when they were sure they had locked them the night before. Police say with no sign of forced entry, it could be a sign of the times with crooks possibly using a high tech device to boost remotely the signal from your fob for your car to remotely gain access and get inside. Mark Taub has a routine like most, locking his front door when leaving and unlocking when returning, like with his car. I don't leave until I hear the beep. So he knew something wasn't right when he got into his car last week. So I opened my console and I noticed all the change was gone, all my chargers were gone, um, a gift card was gone. He's sure he locked it, no broken windows or evidence of forced entry. I was beating myself up, I didn't know, you know, I was constantly one of those things where I know that I hear, I wait to hear the beep before I leave the car every time. And Mark's not the only one. My car locks after a certain amount of time, so I don't have any windows broken in. Bree Losey says nothing was stolen from her vehicle, but a break-in robbed her of her peace of mind. I lock it, and before I go to bed, I make sure that my car is locked again. It's just, I feel unsafe even, even if they didn't take anything, I just don't feel right. In Victorian and Italian Village, same thing beginning last week. I would say in the last couple of weeks, at least like one or two a day. With no arrest yet, Columbus police detectives aren't certain, but say it's possible thieves are building amplifiers or buying them online. Parking your vehicle in front of your home while your key fob is inside, crooks can use it to amplify your car remote signal and gain entry. Bree and Mark are relieved to know the method of the break ins makes some sense, but it comes without some sense of peace. People from all over the neighborhood. So it's not isolated to a specific street or anything like that. It's if you're downtown, this could happen to you. Police say there are a couple of things you could do to protect yourself, and it comes down to keeping your key fob inside some sort of a metal box, a refrigerator, your freezer will work. They say even wrapping it in aluminum foil will help block that amplifier signal. Local for you in Victorian Village, Tyler Beckham, NBC4. Who knew? Thanks, Tyler.